we've learned six chords so far in the key of C. The one chord, which is a C major, the two minor chord, which is D minor, three minor, which is E minor, the four major, which is an F major, the five major, which is a G major, and the six minor, which is an A minor. The seventh of the scale is a diminished chord, which isn't played very often, so we're not going to go into that. And then next would be C again, the octave. It will help develop your ear if you start listening to music, and you could start listening to chord progression patterns. And it'll start to make sense. For instance, if I, if I play a 1-4-5 progression, which would be C, F, G, sounds like shaking a baby. Shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Or if I play a one, six minor, four, five progression, that would sound like a blue moon. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's like a common in 50s era. If I play a 1, 5, 6 minor 4 chord progression, it'd be a G, C, G, A minor, F. That's what we heard on the verse for Let It Be and the chorus for Country Roads. Now, if we take a look, there aren't that many songs that have all six chords. Of this major of that scale in one song uh, we just did can't help falling in love which had all six but also this song too called i will by the beatles when we've been playing all these chords in root position we notice we're doing a lot of jumping around with that right hand next lesson we're going to start learning inversions will which will be just a game changer it'll make things so much easier for you can't wait to show you i'll see you in the next video